Hello everyone and welcome to part four for God's sake, this oh It's been a while because oh for so many things. I finally got my work on my cartoon done. You've already seen that. Uh Steamworks also finally converted. Now we don't have to use games for Windows Live anymore. What happens when I press this button, I wonder? Nothing. Nothing happens when I press the live button. Okay, good, that's good. Alright, so that's what's been going on, and now that here's what's going on, let's go kill some guys. That's what's going on. Fella I might sneeze soon. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay. First, oh. If you're gonna sneeze, body, just go ahead and get it done. You know? Okay. No, 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 no. Now, here's another one of my favorite farming grounds. Undead Berg is pretty nice. This is also sort of a common invasion area. People of... People that like to farm items, but stay at, say, level 1 or level 5 or something like that enjoy invading people that have come to this point in the game, because they'll have sort of max level items. I can't quite get that right. They still, they have max level items and they enjoy trolling people by killing them in this region. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, someone asked, why do hollows not attack each other? Like these guys right here. How come they weren't attacking one another? Because they've lost their minds, obviously. There's two answers for that. One is that they still seek souls. And who has souls? Do they? No. If they did, then they would still have some of their sanity. But I do. You know, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm a hollowing out here. But I still have my sanity, I still have purpose. And I still have souls. 6,069, apparently. And, uh, as a result, they seek me. And the second is that they still hold some identity. Like, these guys are still in their armor. Uh, a lot of them still hold some sort of purpose. They still perform some, some sort of function in the world. Like our friend over here... And as a result, they're sort of bound to perform that action, whatever it was, for the rest of eternity. Uh, so they still hold some semblance of uh, who they once were. Come right here, buddy. Okay. This guy is a steel knight or a heavy knight. Uh, sometimes... Well, actually, their actual name is a... Make sure I avoid that. Is a Beranike knight or a... Uh, Berenike, or, you know, people pronounce it different ways. I call it Berenike because it is... Let's see, how do I, how do I say this but the best way? Oops. Didn't roll quite in time. Huh. The, the roll delay is a little bit awkward. This is not the correct way to fight this guy. You can parry this guy, but he does not go into the repostable state. What if I can get one off? Yeah, I can. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I got that in. But mainly, you didn't... Man, the rolling is really, feels really weird today. I haven't played in a way. In a way. I haven't played in a while, so it's a little bit awkward right now. But he, he doesn't take too much. He's not that big of a threat. His brothers later on are actually the, the big problem. You can see that he's hollow. You can see his face. His little skeleton man face. Little skeleton man face. Oh, come on. Only a Titanite shard. Come on. Ah, oh, nothing else. Damn it. Oh, well. Uh, anyways, let's see. What was I going to say? Oh, I wanted to mention that Hollows, in, in gathering souls and things, remember whenever we first started the game and we all started out at level whatever? Uh, like the bandit started at, I, I forget what it was. It's like level 10 or level 5 or whatever. I don't, it, it doesn't give a shit. That is considered to be the upper limit for normal human beings. And it isn't until we start leveling up in Lord Runner, we start partaking of souls and using that to escalate our power even further that we move beyond the realm of human limitations. And that's why we become so much stronger than other people. Uh, that is one of the minions of Seath, of course. One of these seers. They, they have six eyes. They're kind of in charge of gathering his sexual harem together from all corners of the earth and also for reading him books and shit, I guess. I have no idea. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty weird thing. Okay, but anyways, let's pluck this Firekeeper soul off of this dead guy's corpse. First, mother and child kind of thing going over here. This this sort of mother and child thing is seen throughout uh, Greater Lordrum. It doesn't really have much of an explanation. And of course, in uh, New Londo, we will eventually come across that ghost that is carrying a child. Whether that has any relation or not, I don't know. But I really just enjoy kind of thinking that it's just supposed to be symbolic. That it's just supposed to be atmospheric. Uh, this little thing over here, you can't really quite make it out. 
but it is... Oh, this is awful. But it's supposed to be like a lion head, a guy offering what appears to be an egg, I think, and two goat heads, I think? And this is an actual image that you can find online. It's an actual drawn, uh, I think, I think a manuscript image. So it's not really supposed to mean anything, I imagine. It's just something that one of the uh, art guys has plucked out of Google image searches, most likely, and then converted into a, a file like this. Anyways. Firekeeper Soul. Uh, da -da -da -da. Have I looked at these before? Have I looked at these before? Probably so. I can't find it anyway. Firekeeper Soul. Firekeeper Soul. Firekeeper Soul. So, of a long lost firekeeper. Each firekeeper is a corporeal manifestation of her bonfire and a draw for the humanity which is offered to her. Her soul is nulled by infinite humanity and can boost the power of precious Estus Flats. It can be used to gain humanity and restore health points at the cost of losing the firekeeper's soul to reinforce Estus Flats. <laughs> but the general gist of it is that the firekeepers, usually women, is actually they're exclusively women for some reason, as far as I know. Hello, Sundrop. Mm. I like you, Sundrop. That they are actually being over... They have this... Humanity, they have the essence of the abyss, which is what humanity is. The dark soul fragments just bursting out of every hole in their body. They're pretty awesome. Uh, let's, let's get this guy before we do anything else. They have that bursting out of every hole in their body. Oh yeah, I forgot he does too. Come over down. No, I see that? That's a parry animation. If you attack him while he's doing that, he'll attempt to parry you. But if you do a jumping attack, it just completely ignores it. Oh, clever girl, but not clever enough, because I'm a more clever girl. I'm such a pretty lady. Okay, let's take the elevator down. Let's go ahead and get that set. That way we don't have to worry about it. Boink. You can actually jump over here and just, you can actually just run right back out and trigger this. You don't have to go down, but there's a, I think, a dialogue sequence that the Crestfallen Merchant begins once you take the uh, elevator all the way down. And we'll be using this later to get to the back to the asylum, if you didn't know already. If you didn't know. Uh, but I wanted to say that the hollows, the, yeah, whenever you start the game, you're basically at the upper human limits. Do I want to, yeah, go ahead and see if you have Oh, anything. hello. What is it? No, I have not. That is a shame. But each to their own. Speak to me if you have a change of heart. To each their own with your haircut too, buddy. You know, it's only, it's a matter of opinion whether or not your hair looks stupid, but mine is the correct one, and it does look stupid. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 those are basically the, the upper human limits, and it isn't until you start intaking souls that you become more powerful, which is a demon souls thing. That's the whole thing with demon souls. You would talk to the maiden, and she would use souls to make you stronger than a human being could possibly be. What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Because no one in Lordran really trusts one another. Because you can kill anyone and take their souls. Don't you ever think to forge your weapon? I haven't gotten around to you it. You better find a smith box soon. Unless you enjoy swinging about with blunt instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Actually, I've already gotten the all the little optional boxes. Like repair box and smithing boxes and so forth. How did that silly sorcerer's apprentice end up? You know. The one always prattling on of a master Logan. He left for the undead Berg, but never came back. Serves him right. If even old Big Hat can't make it out there, what chance does he have? I hope he enjoys his new life as a hollow. Oh, come on, that was actually funny. Uh, let's look at, look at his crotch right there. This kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he's referencing two characters that we have not met yet. But we will soon. Maybe in this episode. I don't know. Actually, let's make sure that he... Mm -hmm. What now? What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. <laughs> I like him just for those little moments. Okay, but that, that's all I wanted to come down here for, to make sure I grabbed his optional dialogue. His buddies have not shown up yet, which is just as well, because I would have to rattle on about them, too. And I really want to make fun of them, because they're so stupid. Anyways, uh, what was I going to say? There's a couple of things I wanted to bring up. One, the uh, Berenike Knights. I call them Berenike Knights, I was going to say. 
because it's pretty obvious that the name Berenagi is related to Berenice, which is a common uh, sort of old-fashioned name in Middle Middle Eastern royal like royalty lines, primarily. For it's a, it's a more contemporary then version of a uh, Berenike, which is a name meaning bearer of victory. Uh, yeah, I might as well go ahead and pay him a visit or pay all of them a visit. Goodness, this is going to be a trial. Um, but yeah, let's see. What's a, I better think about this before I move on. Uh, but the Baranaki Knights came to Lordran in sort, search, like many, in search of a cure for undeath. And obviously, they didn't find it. Uh, Tarkus is among them, probably. They don't really just come out and say that he is, but it's pretty obvious that he is. No, no. No, come on. I better heal, actually. These are just common enemies. Hey, you're not supposed to come out this far. No, no, cut that out. All right, don't cut it out there. Watch me kill you. Ow, oh, it reached too long. No, you are a naughty son of a thing with many eyes, whatever the fuck you are. I don't hey, stop swinging. Accidentally queued up too many attacks. But these guys are very, very dangerous as they go flopping about in every direction like a flaccid penis. Look at that flaccid penis with six eyes. It's going crazy. Oh, jeez. Gotta move. Gotta move. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Okay. There's a shitload of these. Woo! There's a shitload of these little guys. And even though these are the most basic enemies in the game, they are not to be trifled with. Especially not in huge groups like this. In many ways, these are far... Especially whenever they get torches. Holy shit. Oh, come on. No. Naughty little meat man. Stop it. False sex label. Oh, I've missed that. I've missed that so much. Let's play in this this pile of corpses for a while. Whee! I love death. Whee! Okay, that's enough of that. But anyways, yeah, these guys serve C. They have... Look at his eyes. Look at his... I wonder if I can get my... How do, how do I do this again? Is it an item or a weapon? Oh, I can't remember. Actually, let's do it this way. Get off of there. Filthy old whatever you are. Moss. Uh, you're around here somewhere. Or not. Where, where's the binoculars? Oh, here it is. Okay, binoculars. Come here, binoculars. Oh, yeah. Gonna, gonna, gonna completely miss what I was looking for. Come on, come on. There's that famous image of, uh, oh, come on. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe I can get him on the stairs, get a good look at him. Come here! Roll up there. You little bastard. You are getting up on this... Oh. You are getting up on these stairs, whether you like it or not, in the most silly fashion possible. Come on. I will play with your corpse for an eternity, if I have to. And I will enjoy every moment of it. Oh, apparently I'm not going to get this correctly. But I hope you've enjoyed this five minutes of me playing with this guy's corpse. Ah, uh, this was last Monday all over again. Okay, come on, at least turn over. I've already made one mistake. Help me undo the next one. This is the only way that you can really move them reliably. There we go. There we go. I'm not going to bother zooming in, but you can see his eyes. And he is really... He's as perplexed by my behavior as you guys are. But anyways, yeah, he's got six eyes. I guess to make up for the fact that Seath has no eyes at, at all. Okay, anyways, uh, better knock you knights, uh, probably led by Tarkus, although it's not really, they don't really come out and say it. Came to Lord trying to find a cure for undeath, uh, I've already mentioned that their names are, didn't I? Yeah, th their names are kind of related to that, better niece, uh, from soft, or probably Miyazaki specifically likes to use things like that. They, they aren't necessarily making a reverence. No, we've already discussed this. They like making sort of references to things of ages past in the real world. They don't necessarily have anything to do with the game. Like, they're making a reference to, hey, you're doing the same thing to your buddy. Oh. Play with your corpse, too. Or not. Ah, eh, no, no, I'm gonna do that. Uh, but they're making a reference to Middle Eastern sort of lines of royalty, specifically. Like Egyptian pharaohs, I think, took the name. Maybe not pharaohs. Maybe just... I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't remember. 
But that and I think some Saudi, ancient Saudi kingdoms as well. Also took the name of Berenice. But that doesn't mean that the that the uh, knights themselves are supposed to be Middle Eastern themed or anything like that. It's just, it's one of those things that they enjoy doing. Which actually the Balder Knights also have that going for them. We just got through killing a few of these guys. Look at all these chairs, by the way. You ever wonder about this? All these fucking chairs? They're all... I don't know. They're all here, too. So either this was used for storage, or this was a waiting room that led maybe up here? But that is... And even over here, there's more of them. So either this was just storage, there's sort of a little eating area. Maybe this was for the uh, people that kept the prisoners. Maybe that's what it was. But it's so strange that there is a jail cell up here with Lautrec in it, and a parish of all things. Makes no sense at all. But if you... Actually, I'll, I'll just hold off on that. We'll think about it more in a second. Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in love. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Oh, all right. I actually haven't gotten the key to the cell yet, but uh, it's actually over there. Uh, it's not that far away, but you can use the master key to go ahead and open it up. If you leave him in here, he eventually will escape anyways. Don't ask me how, he just does for gameplay purposes. And he is not too happy about the fact that you left him in here. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. Yes. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. If you say so. Kind of doubt it. Hello. Okay. Talk to me some more, buddy. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I want I've it just now. Allow me some time. Oh, very well. Uh, I think that's all for I'm him. Free. Now I can get back to work. <laughs> what do you mean by that, buddy? Uh, yeah, he's obviously evil. Now. Back in the <laughs> <laughs> Look at his crotch, too. Everyone in this game has kind of weird crotches. Well, we can't all be winners, can we? Ha <laughs> ha, hint hint. Ha <laughs> ha nudge nudge. But the, uh, it, I think that the reason why that there might be a jail cell in here is this originally was not a jail cell. Uh, this has obviously sort of been boarded up. We could break through it. This was... Oh, why is there a set of doors here? And then there's another one here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyways, it was probably just boarded up like this because I imagine, I like to imagine, this, I don't know if this is true, I'm just guessing, that the Berenaki Knights came here, kind of used this as a base of operations, as well as possibly the Boulder Knights. And, uh, <clears throat> they, uh, captured Lautrec at some point, and they were basically have been guarding him since then. So he's probably been here for quite some time, maybe almost close to a century for all I know. Don't really know, or maybe he's only been here recently. But if he's only been here recently, then who exactly imprisoned him here in the first place? What's name is Angus Salter? Always in their ass. Always in their ass. That's where the soul's located. Right in the butthole. Uh, not gonna do this yet. Actually, I, I tend to do this. I tend to leave the bosses for last and like to muck about in the area beforehand. One advantage of this is you can get that tin soft humanity from farming the, each area as you go through them. If you're really that set on the idea. Which I'm really not, but I just like... I don't like rushing through the game, I guess. As you can probably tell. Okay, I've done this run many times. You can sneak up on this guy and backstab him, but that will alert. Like, this guy has already seen us. And he's going to come over here. And you can lure him out just by having him see you, first of all. Or you can just go ahead and backstab that guy and fight two of them at once. Oh, he actually got me. Oh, I better switch off my binoculars just in case. No, come on. This is the thing I was talking about, by the way. You press in the stick to target. But sometimes it doesn't quite work out the way it's supposed to. His attack is a little bit faster than mine is. So you don't attack him whenever he's doing this, or else he's going to parry you. It's actually pretty easy to parry these guys as well. Although, oh, come on, really? Although it's been a while since I've actually tried it, so... 
Anyways, uh, let's see. What was I just talking about? I was going to talk about the Balder Knights. Uh, the Balder Knights and Night King Rendell, who are probably guarding Lawtrek. You'll kind of learn a little bit about Night King Rendell in uh, some item descriptions once we start getting these guys' gear to drop. Uh, Balder, obviously, is a reference to Norse mythology. There we go. The God Balter, the, the uh, Aesir, I believe is what they were actually called. I like using the chop attack, by the way, if you didn't notice. What do we got? Oh, yes! Ha ha ha! Balder Side Sword. Or the, the, yes, I know, the Balder Swag Sword. Stupid name. Let's take a look at this right away. Oh, these short swords. I can't do a thing with them. Ah, there we go. Okay. Balder Side Sword. This is obviously a dexterity weapon. By the way, I decided on my build. I decided that I'm going to go 40 strength, 40 dexterity, and pretty much I'm in nothing in any form of magic whatsoever, which will bring me sort of in the range of 120. Okay, Baldur Side Sword. The knights of the ancient kingdom of Baldur wielded these rock-solid long swords, which are excellent for thrust attacks. Baldur was the home of Night King Rendell, but the kingdom was reduced to ruins after a widespread outbreak of undead. Okay, now I'm going to stand here for the next five minutes as I rattle off about Night King Rinald, because if I don't, then I won't get to it. Okay, Baldur, obviously, was a reference to Norse mythology, uh, the, the god of uh, light and purity, I think. And he was, you know, the, the wisest, the most gracious of all the, the Aesir, and uh, he, he doesn't really have much about him. He's just known for dying, and that le leads to the uh, Ragnarok event, the end of the world. Um... He, it was foretold in a prophetic dream that he was going to die, so as a result, his mother took steps to make him immortal, or invincible, I should say. But they did that with everything except for mistletoe, which is... I don't, don't ask me, there's a whole thing, just don't worry about it. Halberd, Halberd. Halberd's nice, Let, let's use that for me. Just because. Oh... Uh, actually, this is going to do no damage whatsoever. Actually, I can't even use it appropriately. But you, the reason why people love this sword, it does sort of modest damage. But it has an amazing moveset. It's incredibly versatile. Uh, rolling attack. Goes and back step into a running. It's a really, really great sword overall. Uh, not incredibly long, but still pretty fucking long for it just being a simple sword like this. All the swords in uh, Dark Souls are pretty much oversized for their actual, what they actually should be. Uh, but let's go ahead and use... I can find the halberd. Halberd, I actually do... I actually do like the halberd. I can't use this either. Can I two-hand it? No, I can't two-hand it either. But since I... I can't actually meet the stat requirements, of course, it's going to fuck up the, uh... Oh, I hate that. This, these stupid spin-the-wind things. It's especially bad in two, but even in one, they still did it. This is not how you use a halberd. That's the stupidest fucking thing that you could ever do with a weapon like this. This is okay. This is actually how you would use it. Because the whole point of the... The primary weapon for any sort of medieval combat is going to be a spear of some sort. Whether it's going to be a halberd, whether it's going to be, you know, one of these things. Wing spear, whatever. It's going to be something of that nature. And the swords tended to be these sides... These side arms. Oh, uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Balder. He was killed whenever Loki made a spear out of mistletoe and tricked... This is hilarious, by the way. And tricked uh, the god... What was it? Hor, I think? H-O-O-R, by the way. Hor! I, I, I know how to pronounce it. But they tricked him into, by the way, a hollow will run back and try to close these gates. Um, Doing it from behind. I can't remember if it... Here's a basement key for later. Uh, so you can get into lower undead bird. But I think it's this guy right here that actually does it. But obviously this is open right now. I can pull the lever and close it. Which does absolutely nothing. Oh, hey! That's my job. Okay, I'll open it for you, buddy. Come over here and bring, you, bring your breast to my sword. So that I might thrust inside of it and whatnot. Come here, buddy. Anyways, yeah, uh... They were, since uh, Baldur had been made invincible to everything, the gods were all throwing shit at him. 
because they thought it was hilarious that they could do anything they wanted to him and he would not be hurt. Uh, so in the process of this, Loki gave this spear to Horar, whatever his name is, and uh, he threw it at him and accidentally killed him as a result. And that kind of ended up by a very flim... Actually, I don't want to go this way because that's incredibly dangerous. Let's go the other way. No, no. They heard me. That's why they turned. Uh, that ended up leading to Ragnarok. Okay, but anyways, um, I looked this up ahead of time, and common name variants of Baldur are Beldor and Polter, which mean Lord. Uh, it's typically more of a connotation that Lord is not royal or anything like that. It's more uh, in urn sense, like you're a lord of men, that sort of thing. Like you are just very powerful. You have earned your way into success. And, uh, I don't know if they really intended that, but it fits quite well with the... But it fits, fits quite well with the overall theme of, uh... <laughs> Why do they always do this? But it fits quite well with the overall theme of... Uh, oh, ooh! Two for one! Yes. Kind of looks like a little person the way it's laid out. Boulder armor and boulder leg. Let's go ahead and show that off, actually. Sadly, you don't get the, the neat little cape. Oh, look at all these hollow warrior things. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. But here's what this looks like. You don't get the cape, unfortunately. Although this is still a nice little set. Uh, I eventually will be wearing something complete. I'll probably end up wearing the black iron set, to be quite honest. I like that one. And variations of uh, accompanying armor sets. Uh, uh, but, yes. That's pretty good. It's a fitting name for Night King Rendell's little... Uh, Whatever. His nation. It's, just, it's assumed to be a nation, is what it is. And, um... The, what seems to be implied to me, through the use of the, the name Baldur, and in addition to him being a Night King, it is it seems to be that he forged, along with, uh... His... Oh, whoa, whoa, that was weird. Super armor. Whoop. No, that's not right. And yeah, if you're going to do that, I'll just... It's so weird. The hitboxes in this game are so... I didn't do any damage to him. Okay, what am I doing? i got to concentrate here. Actually, I better... Yeah, might as well just go ahead and heal. I really dislike healing. Using up my Estus. I always wait until the last possible second, which does get me killed ever so often. But I figured since I'm recording, I might as well just be careful. Might as well be a pussy about it. Uh, here's the noob shield. Noob shield. Night shield. The reason why this is considered to be a night shield is because most classes don't have access to a decent shield starting off. And if you're taking sort of the normal route through the game, this is probably going to be the best shield that you're going to get for quite some time. Even though it's a piece of garbage. Anyways, uh, yeah, Night King Randall, the Balder Knights. It seems to be insinuated that they actually created a kingdom. Here's one of the, the examples of going backwards through a fog, fog gate, which I was wrong, you can do with that. But it can't be a boss fog gate. That's the difference. Dark Souls 2, you can go backwards through boss fog. And Dark Souls 1, you cannot do that. Okay. Alright, there's nothing in here. There's this, this down here. Uh, They're very angry. But yeah, uh, it seems to be implied that they won their kingdom by some means. This is the advantage of going backwards through areas. You can come up with a little, little crazy little things that you can do. And of course, you can bait these guys. Come on, come on! I'm so deli I'm so rife with souls. Come on, come up here. Damn it! Oh well. Maybe I'll try my luck. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's try to be a badass while we're at it. Let's try to be a badass. Let's do something stupid. Let's do something stupid. You? Can I target you? Yes, I can target you. Jumping attack! Oh, it's terrible. Well, it did work. Still, it's terrible. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, they won their, their, their kingdom. Seems to be the implication. Uh, that's further reinforced by later on in the game, you can find a... Get out of here, table. You can find a silver coin in An Orlando in a mimic that has... Here's the mystery key that unlocks... <laughs> the mystery key. <laughs> the key of mystery, which unlocks wall trick. Um, but there's a, a silver king from a mimic in Orlando that has the 
it has a depiction of uh, Night King Randall on it. Uh, which is a little unusual. Because Night King Randall, along with a lot of other people, uh, including uh, Tarkus and uh, oh, like Logan and so on, all sorts of people, try to go through Anilondo, and it's Im implied, since you don't see any Boulder Knights, or excuse me, uh, yeah, you do. What am I talking about? Yeah, you don't see any Boulder Knights uh, beyond Sin's Fortress that they actually never reached in Orlando. And you find the Ring of Steel Protection, which has... It, it says that it belonged to him, not King Randall. Then it's implied that he died in Sin's Fortress. But still, you can find that silver coin there. So it's really unusual. It implies that somehow, either he made it there, or um, one of his followers did. Or of course, oh, it's an illusion. Everything in Orlando's illusion. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. I'll, I'll complain more about that later. No, no, bad pig. Let's go ahead and get him out of here first. Because I don't want to have to deal with that. And plus, I want to dick around with uh, the skulls, of course. What do you guys care? You love listening to me. You're not even watching the screen. I know. I know what you guys do. Anyways, uh. Yeah, it's not, it's not really clear how exactly that coin got there. But obviously, it's a coin that was minted for their treasury. It was something that was made for their new kingdom. And it wasn't of an ancient king or anything. It was of him. So, yeah, it was probably... The Baldur Knights were probably guys that won their own kingdom. They forged their own land. But unfortunately, ended up losing it to the... Uh, damn it. Uh, ended up... Ooh, dangerous. Go ahead and take one. I can't certain I don't die here. These crossbows can be pretty dangerous. Um, okay, just want to make sure I got that guy cleared. And make sure I clear you. Hey, you still have the Estus Flask in his hand. That was a weird bug. Anyways, uh, yeah, they forced their own kingdom. And somehow that, that coin got there. And along... This, this is something else interesting. Uh, spoiler alert, of course, but uh, if you end up destroying the illusion of Guinevere, then, of course, Gwendolyn gets all pissy. The illusions that are contained within Anorlando are dropped. And specifically, there are two enemies that appear. As I go ahead and set this. There, there are two enemies. Huh. It's green now? It's strange. I thought it was always yellow. Does it do that whenever it gets low? Oh, it's just plus one. Okay, I see. <laughs> I was getting that. Actually, it does say one remaining. That's strange. Huh, I don't know. This, that is unusual. Oh, well, anyways. But two knight, two knights appear after you have done this. Uh, one is a Balder Knight, and one is a uh, Berenike Knight. So I try to... Okay, there we go. He sets on, himself on fire. I don't. I never really use the lowering skulls. I'm not quite as big a fan of them as uh, uh, Franz is. But yeah, they they're kind of fun to dick around with, I guess. Oh, he's not gonna fall for it this time. Yeah, go ahead. He never learns his lesson. What? Oh, oh. Souls are good. Okay, but I can probably do my favorite trick, and I might be able to jump attack him. But he's already facing me. Actually, what I can do, I could just drop down in front of this flame and he would run into it and probably kill himself. But I really want to try to jump attack this guy, even if I die. I don't even care. I don't even care. Damn it. Damn it. No. Oh. Well, that was fortuitous. I am a genius. Anyways, you find those two knights there. Which is unusual because only the steel knights, the, the Bernaki knights, are implied to actually have made it that far. And, um... Uh, there is that one guy from both uh, houses. Some people speculate that might actually be Night King Randall, although he's nothing impressive. Personally, I think it's just a couple of generic enemies they just plop down. Just because, you know, it's one of those things. Frontsoft tends to do that quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay, and we've already cleared that, I think. I'm absolutely certain. I think so. It is fun going through these areas backwards. So anyways, it is sort of implied by relation to that that they might have gotten to Anorlando, and there might be some sort of relation between them and Gwendolyn. 
and more specifically uh, the uh, the Dark Moon Knights. There we go. Plus one. Okay, we're up to eleven. And here's this, but we can't get through just yet because we have to actually go the long way around, come through past the Hellkite Dragon Wyvern, so on, and get him that way. Uh, don't need this anymore. I can probably... Uh, I'm not gonna fuck with that guy until I get that unlocked. Have to deal with these goddamn rats first. But there might be a relationship between Gwendolyn and the Boulder Knight. Oh, oh, oh. 60 frames a second. This is what happens. Better quit just to make certain. <laughs> Don't try to slide down those ladders whenever you're running at 60 frames per second. I mean, you can just walk down them, but don't try to slide down them. And you can't drop off them like in Dark Souls 2. Because otherwise you will fall through the planet and wind up in heaven. You really don't want to get bit by these fucking things, because they cause toxic or... Er, sorry, poison, poison. And there's only three. Okay, good, good. But there, there might be a relationship between them and them. It's not really clear. Come over here, buddy. Amazing. I can barely even see it because the camera kind of flipped out there. Okay, and one last guy. And... He shouldn't be here yet. He shouldn't be here. No, he's not here yet. Okay. But we're going to go in here. We're going to knock down this ladder and complete the routes. You knock down this ladder. And remember our little farming route that I was obsessed with? That's it. And apparently our dragon friend just showed up because he just got through torching all the hollows on the bridge. That's what that was, by the way. Yep, there he is. Little dick face. And you know what time it is, guys. I'm a completionist. I don't actually care about it. But I've got to get it. Just because. Just because if I can find it. Eh, longbow. What? No, I can't. What if I can two-hand it and it'll still be fine? No, I can't. Huh. Well, let's roll with the short bow then. Unable to... Ooh, really? E wow, wow, really? What are the requirements? Oh, <laughs> that explains it, doesn't it? Well, since I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, go for a 40-40 build anyway, so I guess it's okay. Uh, not going to slide down again, that's for sure. But there might be a link between the Dark Moon Knights and them. What it is, I don't know. It's probably nothing. It's probably nothing, but it is interesting to speculate about. Okay, reset everything here. Oh, uh, how that coin got on that inside that mimic, either, I have no idea. It might be related to what exactly mimics are. And I'm not sure what exactly mimics are in the first place. Although it is hinted that they have some relation to fire keepers, more specifically humanity and the dark... I just got through doing that and I didn't even level up my decks. That's how committed I am to not leveling up decks. But it might be rel related to uh, uh, humanity itself. They're either things that are created or they're natural organisms. It seems kind of weird that they would be natural organisms. Damn it, come on. The uh, bottom... There we go. The down thing on my uh, D-pad on this controller doesn't work particularly well. Oh, only 11. Uh, I guess that means I've got to actually use these things. I never actually... I never actually use souls. Uh, I guess... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna set it to my hot bar and do that shit just yet. Wait, what? That's not gonna be enough. How much was it? Oh, it was enough. Okay. So I don't have to look. Come on down. Come on. There we go. Okay. okay. I'm sure this is fascinating, by the way. But anyways, yeah, that male and female nut are there in, in Orlando, at, but only after you have uh, dispelled the illusions there. So maybe they did get there, and then they decided... Maybe they learned the truth. Maybe, like, Black Iron Tarkus is related to the uh, Baranaki Knights. By the way, I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. And uh, But he ended up dying in that place. I'll get more into that later, I guess. But of course, you can do it this way. This is one way to do it. Have to do it whenever his tail is passing this way. You know what? Let's watch the whole fucking thing. This is going to be so much fun anyways. You can actually get two hits in, by the way. As soon as he lowers his ass down. But yeah, they... It's, 
it may be that the knights actually oop, missed. And now, okay. It may be that if he can rip, lowers his tail right here and can get in a second hit that way. He's wanting to accelerate this a little bit faster. And I only have 12 of these arrows, so I might actually be able to get this. But if they might have gotten to Anna Orlando and then actually made some sort of deal because they may, they may have themselves found out the truth about Anna Orlando. It's not really clear. Of course, Black Iron Tarkas died on his way there, so he didn't survive. And, uh, damn it. And, uh, Night King Randall, we don't know quite what happened to him, although it's sort of implied that he died in Sin's Fortress. So whatever you want to say, I don't know. Can go either way. Can go either way. Uh, there was something else I was going to mention about the uh, Baranaki Knights. Other than the fact that their armor is badass. I love their armor. I love using this, this steel armor set. Uh, we'll see more of them later down the line, so I guess I'll save that for later. But that's the gist of both of those guys. Uh, I actually don't really care too much for the sort of nation background elements in these games. Whoops. Fucked that up. Do I have... Yes, I do. Okay. I have 75 of the other ones anyways. So this might not take as long, uh, long as I think it does. But things like whenever you get into like, Oh, so-and-so came from this nation, and so-and-so came from this nation. I don't care. That does not matter. It's good for world building, but it's just really... It's, it's not as interesting to, to me as the characterization. Like, the only use for it I have is whenever you start getting into the... The, you know, the motivations for all the characters. Like, oh, did it too soon again? Like, whenever we're talking about the, uh, the Boulder Knights, uh, the, like, did they actually get to An An Orlando? And did they actually decide, you know what, we were pursuing the, oh, that was fast. Finally got this god-awful thing. Drake's or might as well show this off. Right. Drake Sword, okay. Of course, this is another noob weapon. If you see someone with a Drake Sword and a Night Shield, it's probably, yeah, you know, it's just, it's either a new player or someone that just, just does not give a shit. Uh, this is considered, it's a noobish weapon because it's extremely overpowered for this point of the game. You can see its damage rating compared to, every, like, this Broken Drake Sword, for example, 40 damage, 200 on this thing. And also it has some sp it's a, it's actually kind of a shame because it has a pretty nice little move set. I mean it's not bad or anything. And of course the standing two-handed R2 does that knockdown attack that drains us durability and so on. That's all you're going to see from this. Because this is a this is something that is upgraded with uh, the uh, whatever they're called. They're not are they are they dragon in this one? I can't remember. Drake stones or whatever the fuck they are. I don't know. I never use it anyway, so I don't care. I don't give a shit. Uh, but it's one of those things. Uh, you can only upgrade the, grade those five times. And, uh, everything else you can upgrade up to, like, plus 15 or whatever. I, I don't know. I'm talking at my ass right now because I just don't give a shit about it. Okay, anyways. Let's go ahead and get down here and... Actually, let's trigger this real fast. Because I want a few more souls just for the hell of it. <laughs> of course, this is a very common farming spot for people. They will just run up and down this ladder, triggering that over and over again because that dragon is just too stupid and too much of a piece of shit to actually realize that he's making you more and more powerful. I could level up here and stuff like that, I guess. But I'm not going to do that. I'm actually... What I'm going to do is I'm going to run over there and try to... Actually, I'm going to need this bow again, just to make sure. And let's trip off and show my sexy chest for a while. Just to reduce my uh, weight, that way I can run a little bit faster. Um, something to say about this stupid fucking thing right here. This is actually... That was weird, you can see their health bars for a second. This is actually not a... This is not a dragon, it's commonly referred to as a Hellkite Drake. It's not a Drake either. This is actually a Wyvern, because it has two wings, no arms, and two legs. A drake has four legs, but no wings, and a dragon has four legs and two wings. That's the general gist of it. Of course, I'm sure there's going to be arguments in the, the comments, <laughs> and it's going to sound just like that. Just ignore them, I'm right, as I always am. 
Uh, you can get him to come, go ahead and get his ass down here by shooting him this way. Or you can, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Come on, aim. There we go. And, ooh, no, 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 no. That fire breath, I fucking hate this thing with a passion. Okay, there we go. I hate this stupid fucking thing. Because it's a, attacks are cheap as shit. And they're almost unavoidable. As soon as I... Eh, let's go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and fly off like a pussy, you piece of shit. Go on. Get out of there. Go on. Go on, skit, you. Skit. No, don't breathe fire in here. Little basket. Go on, get out of here. He's actually a sting. Usually he flies off. There you go. Miserable little bitch. How's that leverage feel up there with no tail? Miserable little fucking cunt. Hate that goddamn thing. I hate him because... Here's the, the sunlight altar, by the way, which is shattered. If you play Dark Souls 2, you probably recognize this because it's the exact same model. You can't do anything with it just yet, though. We haven't even spoken to Solaire just yet. I think I might actually... How much time? 40, 46 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, these guys, I'm not going to bother these guys. They're here at the Sunlight Altar. You can sort of make your own speculations as to why they're here. But they seem to be... If I would assume, since they're here and they're doing this and they're not hostile, they're probably people that were an adherence to the Sunlight Covenant. And, you know, worshippers of Gwyn. And at some point, they just... They kept worshipping here, they never lost their faith, but they eventually went hollow anyways. So, the... The, the last vestiges of their humanity is the fact that they were unable to let go of their own faith. This is sort of the, what I gather from this. This guy, this guy's got it the worst. He just, come on, Wall, tell me your secrets. Tell me your secrets, Wall. Tell me the secrets of this plant growing out of this sack. Uh, what do you got to say? Try and cover it. Yeah, okay. Anyways, but that, that's the gist of this. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, that, that fucking Drake. Because... And I've got to pick this up. That's what I want to do. And I, I've already opened this, haven't I? Yes, okay. And I haven't... I don't think I've... I can, it doesn't matter. Oh, that was weird. Kind of spooked me for a second. Got scurred. And this is what I want. Claymore. Okay. I might end up just rolling with this for quite some time. Because I really like this weapon. Just a simple Claymore. I'm a, a kind of... A, I really like things that are just kind of utility-based. Uh, I'll go ahead and mention the, the Hellkite Drake here. Or the Hellkite Wyvern. If you didn't notice, most of his fire attacks do a shitload of damage. I kind of lucked out and caught the tail end of that one. But all, he, all he, he will do, if you attract him to the bridge and try to fight him, is he'll just fly up in the air and breathe fire on you, and that will one-shot kill you. Like, even if you're, like, level 120, that can one-hit kill you. And, uh, he'll, he sometimes will come back, as I try to go pick this up. Once you get halfway to the bridge, you'll sometimes... He'll sometimes pop back up, like a little bitch that he is. I guess he flew off to... He flew off behind these cliffs over there. Flew off to go suck himself all off, off I guess. I, I don't know. Fuck it. Look at that rendering. Oh, yes, Dark Souls! Yes! Uh, but yeah, he, he sucks just because of that. Because all of his moves are like one-hit moves. He doesn't stay on the ground to fight you. He just flies off and starts breathing fire. And he'll fly up in the air and fly back and forth and breathe fire that way. And everything is almost a one-hit kill. That's sort of a Demon Souls thing that he's not really a boss. He's just an obstacle that you're supposed to avoid. Really, really just do not like him. Really, he's the only thing like that in this game. Really a nuisance. Just a fucking pest. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get this guy up here. I'm not going to waste my time trying to uh, equip a bunch of things to raise my luck just to try to get a better drop or anything like that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Damn it. Oh. Come on. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and get the knights up here just to get him out of the way. And I'll probably die to him. I was never good at fighting the great sword ones for some reason. They're actually fairly easy to parry, but I always manage to fuck it up somehow. The most dangerous is whenever you first see him because he does that right out of the gate. Somehow he hit me even the hope had my shield up. Whoops! That was not the best thing to do. That was silly. I actually completely forgot that the railing was missing in some parts. Oh well, lesson learned. Uh, but anyways, da -da -da, what was I saying? 
saying something about that stupid wyvern. I don't know. Oh, uh, the, the claymore. I was going to talk about the claymore. Claymore has a very good moveset. It is considered to be, is pretty widely considered to be one of the best uh, weapons in the game. Uh, it's not like the most powerful or anything. It's sort of like the boulder sides. Ooh, come on, pick it up. There we go. That one is dangerous. You want to avoid that. <laughs> what the hell even happened? Okay, I'm just about headed with this. Damn. He will follow you pretty damn far ways. Oh, this is really disorienting. But at least I can track him this way. Come on down here, buddy. Damn. How's he getting through that? But you really want to uh, fight him up there, not down here. Okay, here we go. The overhead is uh, clipping through me somehow. Oh, it's so awkward. But that's the problem with fighting this guy. It's just the sort of awkwardness of trying to deal with the hitboxes in this game. Uh, he can sort of overhand past your shield in a way. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Easiest thing to do is just parry him and backstab him. Which, most of the time, I'll just go up there and kill him in one try. Uh, although, obviously, I'm not in great spirits today. Let's try one more time. Just, I mean, I can easily get him off screen or something, but... I'm gonna try that again. Yeah, see. Doesn't quite work. Try to concentrate. There we go, okay. Shouldn't have been talking while I was trying to do that. That's where I fell off. It, it is missing a uh, part of the railing. Damn it! I fucked it up. Again. Try to go for a backstab here. There we go. Okay. You always want to align against the their weapon hands, which is where it's supposed to be. This is Dark Souls One is not as roll happy as uh, Dark Souls Two is by any stretch of the imagination, but you can still evade quite a bit by rolling. Which is something I actually detest, since I'm sort of a realism fag about such things. I really hate it whenever these games get happy with, like, uh, Devil May Cry antics of uh, rolling through everything. Really? Only chunk? Man, not long enough. Oh, well. I mean, I, you really can't, I can't really blame anyone but myself, considering that I uh, had just got through saying that I wasn't going to piss around with uh, trying for uh, maximizing my drop rate or anything. So, only one of the blame is myself. Ugh. Getting up on an hour here. I'll get to Solaire and then we'll stop. And as I'm going across, get the out of the guy system. The guy with a shield should not be that much of a problem. <laughs> Alright, go on, get out of here. The crossbow guys are extremely irritating. Damn. All right, go on, get out of here. But I might end up up upgrading this Claymore. Just because I really like the Claymore. Widely considered to be one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, Bastard Sword, as I was talking about earlier, has almost the exact same moveset. Make sure that stupid fucking thing isn't around here. Let's go ahead and I'll show it off if I have time. I really hope that stupid thing doesn't show up. If I hear a fluttering of wings, and I'm just going to make a... Oh, there he is. There he is, little bastard. And here he comes. See, there's no way to avoid that. If I had just r made a run for it, then I would not have made it. It would have hit me, and it probably would have one-hit killed me. So the, the problem with going backwards to this area is now you have to get back over this way. And how do you do that? There's not really a great way. The best way to do it is to get him to come down and then just make a run for it. Which, obviously, he apparently decided not to come down. And he'll just breathe fire one time after the other. What the fuck? Oh, that was weird. really hate this guy. He, he The fire can't hit you right here. He'll probably still try it again. There, <laughs> you see that guy go flying off in the space? That was great. Okay, there he goes. You can still get hit. It goes through walls. Like if you try to stand here or something, it'll still hit you. It's complete horseshit. That thing is such a big ball of shit. 
Fucking dragons, man. I fucking hate dragons. Especially in these games, because they're such little bitches about everything. Okay, anyways. Here we are at our best buddy in the whole wide world. I know that people will get irritated with Solaire because of all the memes and stuff that originated. But if you view this on its own, Solaire is a really interesting, kind of compelling character in his own right. He became what he is today, the irritating meme that he is now. And the reference in Dark Souls 2 that he is now. Because of this. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. No, of course I not. am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. This one? <laughs> you get this look all the time? So do I. In the mirror. Uh, I will... I'll plug one of my own videos and say that whenever I was doing the trifusions of all the Souls characters, um, in the final one, I do go into great detail about his character, his motivations and whatnot. So if you really want a good detail thing of it, then just go there, because that's all, all my opinions right there. Um, I will point out that he is seeking his own son. He's sitting here looking at the sun up here. By the way, you'll notice if you divert your camera up and down, it's not there. You divert up and down again. And now it's sort of there. Down. And now it is there. Isn't that strange? That is your first hint that the sun in this land is not actually real. Or it's a hint that FromSoft doesn't know how to properly code in lighting. I, I don't know. It could be either one. But this is one of those little neat little things that people like to point out sometimes. But he is seeking his own sun. And it's not clear exactly what that means. But we will learn later it seems to imply that he considers his own son to be something that is completely spiritual. It is a code of ethics, it's, it's a code of behavior, and his own son is something nebulous that he is seeking that even he doesn't seem to quite understand. And we'll explore that idea more later. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Yes, I do have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. Sexy. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? He is like the only person in this entire world that is actually completely, 100% legitimately, just a nice guy. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. He doesn't really have any motivations other than just he's, he's extremely religious. He believes that he needs to help people. And that's why he's doing all this work. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, Gage and engage jolly in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> <laughs> you can sense a bit of sadness in his laugh. Like it's it's not it is sincere laugh, but it is something that seems to hint that there's something going on below the the surface. You might roll your eyes at that, but that's what I hear. That's what I hear. Um a couple things to point out. He mentions that he is not actually from your world. He does not belong here. Within the context of Dark Souls 1 specifically, and Dark Souls 2 they seem to kind of just forget about this, is that um, time and space are convoluted in Lordra. You can meet people from century... I'm looking at this stuff over here that I never really bother noticing. That uh, you can meet people that were from centuries ago, or you can meet people that are from the future, what you perce perceive to be the future. And you can meet people like Solaire that might be from your same time frame, but don't belong in your dimension. Uh, unfortunately, Dark Souls... I hate this, but unfortunately, Dark Souls is sort of a multiverse to try to explain away all the other Chosen Undead that you'll be meeting using these soapstones and doing multiplayer and so on. Uh, and he is one of them. He is basically a multiplayer character, sort of. He's your an introduction to this concept. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body like a magnificent father. 
If only I could be so grossly incandescent. And of course, people use that line about it being like a magnificent father to try to imply that he is the son of Gwen and so on. Of course, the developers have said that he's not the son of Gwen. It, it, I originally, whenever I first started playing this game, thought that was a really neat idea, and I liked the sound of it. But the more that I thought about his character, the more that I sort of analyzed the idea, the more I realized it's actually a disservice to his characterization to have it be so easy to just say that he is the son of Gwen. So I personally much prefer it, him not to follow that route. Which, as I said before, the son of Gwen was originally supposed to be Andre, but they dropped that idea, and that's why he looks that way, and so on. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Okay, is that the son? The son is wondrous a body like my So his goal in life is to be one, to be grossly incandescent. But it seems to be implied that he sees his incandescence to be something that is a reflection of Gwen's power. That he himself seems to think that he is only a good person. I'm reading sort of into this. That he is only a good person as a result of reflecting the power of the thing that he worships, which is the son or Gwyn. So he seems to be seeking his own son, and I'm again, I'm really reading into this. He seems to be seeking his own son in the context that he is trying to be his own man. He's, he's, he's questioning whether he is a good person because he is a good person, or whether it is he is really just inheriting that from uh, his own practices, his own beliefs, his own... Uh, and, the things that he adheres to. He's trying to find his own code of ethics. He's trying to find himself as a person. Like I said, this even if you're you don't if you think it's bullshit. His seeking his own son is never something that is supposed to be interpreted literally. It is something that is incredibly nebulous. He is looking for something, and we don't know what it is. We can't help him. We can't give it to him. So it is ultimately up to him. He is alone, even though he is the person that helps us out on this lonely journey. Ultimately, there's nothing that we can do to help him in his own quest. White Sun Sign Substorm. Be summoned to another world as a phantom through your sign to defeat the area of all square humanity. Housing and guys. And Lord, during the flow of time, it is distorted, and the White Sight Sign Substorm allows undead to assist with it. And that's it. Of course, I got the orange one earlier. Message transmitted from the guys and right message from the guys. There are lots of items like this that are just, they have superfluous or just, they're, they're gameplay dialogue things. It's nice that every single item comes with its own little notice describing exactly what it is. In the context of the game, I would assume that the character that you are does not know any of this information. That it's actually just there. Either it's... He may know it just from the fact that he lives in this world. Or something that he doesn't know and is just be giving, being given to you, the character. It is never really clear one way or another. But anyways... We'll leave it here, and I guess I will go down below next time. If I can get this fucking message out of the way. I was trying to get next to him, but it, someone left a message on top of him. So I can't really get close to him. Plus this talk prop is coming up. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't have a, a praise on yet, so let's just bow to this fucker. And leave it at that. Alright, so we'll be having more adventures with you in the future. But I will either be going down below, or I'll go back and beat the stupid little gargoyles later. Uh, since I'm not doing any animations or any major projects right now, I will be releasing these a bit faster from now on. But no promises. <laughs> I'll, we'll have to do something related to Patreon this month, though, for uh, the, the month of January. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. Uh, come on. Oh, come on, for fuck's sake. Do I have a wave? Yes, I do. Okay. I will see you guys next time. I'll be going crazy until then. See you later. Ha <laughs> ha!